Hi, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, I am doing a video every day in May and I got a suggestion for a teacher appreciation card. So I'm using the Lawn Fawn set, um, A Good Apple. And I have a card base of craft colored card stock. It's just four and a, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then uh, I'm stamping the chalkboard. The, uh, the surface area of this is, it doesn't stamp onto the paper, but it does get a lot of ink on the middle part. So I'm just stamping that out for now. I think I do uh, start coloring it here. So I'm starting with E37. There are a few times where, I think I remember all the markers that I used, but a few times where I don't show you the marker first just because I forgot to, so I'll try and remember what those are. But I show you uh, all the colors eventually once I remember. So I'm just trying to kind of flick out from each of the corners so that I can blend out a lighter color for the wood on the chalkboard. So then I'm using E35, one of my favorite browns. I probably need to get a refill for it. I don't think I have one yet. I'm pretty sure I don't. So just again, going through the darker color and picking that up and blending it out lighter so that it blends with the light color. I've been loving coloring with Copics lately. They just work so well. So then I cut out a dark green and I actually had like a chalkboard green um, piece of paper. I think I only have one. Um, I cut out the size to fit that. So I'm gonna be working on that later. So now I'm just taking this yellow uh, it's two and three quarters, so it's half of the card plus a quarter of an inch wide, and then four and a quarter for the width of the card. And then on the other white piece, is that's just two and a half by four and a quarter. Uh, so the yellow strip is going to be sticking out. Um, I got the inspiration for this card from... I don't want to say her name wrong. She does a lot for Lawn Fawn. I think it's Yenea uh, or Yenea, but she, I think it's My Paper Journey is her blog. And so it was a really cute card idea. So basically we're just making a collage with the eraser, the apple, and the ruler. There's also chalk, and I use a piece of that later. I probably could have mixed that in here. Um, so I did a few of each, like three of each, and then I decided that I would fill in with the others where I thought it might be a little empty. And I'm getting ink on my craft mat, which I'm just wiping with my fingers. I shouldn't be, because all I do is complain about ink on my fingers anyway. So then I just did the rest with apples and kind of stamped them off the edges or the corners. And then I'm going to be coloring this in. Uh, I just use an alcohol swab to pick up the all the ink. I think it may have stained my mat. Okay, so I'm using R29 and R27 to color in the apples. I think I eventually show you the markers up close. And since it's uh, spherical, I'm just kind of flicking from the outside edges. Um, thinking back, I probably should have done maybe R29 or R27 and then R35, like a lighter one, or done three shades. Um, these shades are just a little too close to each other. You can still see some dimension, but I probably would have used a lighter one and blended that out. Um, but it still looks like it's got a little, a little bit of light on it. So there I showed you the first marker I used and I forgot to do the right side of the apple. And then the R27. So it's, since I don't want these videos to be too long, I'm speeding this one up and doing a voiceover. Um, I found that voiceovers are a little bit easier for me because then I can just craft and I don't have to like ask my husband to turn down the TV or mute what he's watching, which he's fine with. I just, um, 
it's kind of annoying and I like to just not think. Sometimes I can't talk and craft at the same time. Uh, so if I can do this after or maybe explain what I was thinking or something I did wrong, it kind of works out better for me. So here, I'm not sure if I showed you, I'm using G, I want to say it's G28 or G82, you might have seen on the marker, uh, and G07 for the leaves, and then Y08 and I think Y11 uh, for the rulers. And then for the wood on the erasers, I'm using the same as the wood on the chalkboard. So E37 and E35. And then for the brushes on the eraser, uh, oh, I was, yeah, so Y08 and Y02, sorry, on the rulers. And then for the brush on the eraser, I'm using E34 for the darker shade. And then E31, I'll be using to blend it out. I really like uh, finding some new, new different brown combos that work really well together especially when I'm working off of an example and I can kind of figure out which uh, from my Copic stash to use. I'm using my Gina K uh, dot runner that I got in a giveaway pack from ThermoWeb. So I stuck that down on top of the yellow so that yellow strip was peeking out. Uh, that yellow paper, I cut out the chalkboard. I skipped that part so you didn't have to watch it. Um, here I'm just lining it with my black Copic so that you don't see the white from where I cut. And I think I take a while to try and focus just to show you that I was using a black marker. Uh, but that yellow paper is from the Spring Fling pack from Lawn Fun. That's peeking out there, kind of pencil colored yellow. And then I'm just using my wide foam tape on the back of the chalkboard to lift that up. And then we will get to the actual chalkboard itself. So I'm just going to center that in the middle of the card and set that aside. Then I have my green piece of cardstock for the chalkboard and I am using powder, my embossing buddy because I'm going to be embossing the white embossing powder to look like chalk. And I'm picking up the thanks sentiment and then below that the for inspiring me. Um, since it's just te teacher appreciation week, it's not um, thanks for a great year. It's not the end of the year. So I thought maybe uh, this sentiment would be good for teacher appreciation week, which is or should be going on right now in most schools. And then I just use the VersaFine clear ink and it's very sticky, so I had to pick that off. And somehow, I don't know what happened, uh, I got embossing powder like everywhere. And I don't, I don't know how. But maybe, I don't know, maybe it was windy or something. So I think I spend a couple seconds here like discovering more and more powder where it shouldn't be. So I'm trying to wipe it off of the surface. And I think I just decided to deal with it later but I wiped it off at least my craft mat. And I've had these embossing powders forever. I think I bought them at Paper Source like years ago. So I stocked up a long time ago and they've been, uh, you know, with me ever since. I don't use a ton of embossing powder. It lasts a while. I like this part because you can see it melting with my heat gun. So that's all set. And then I use the dot runner again on the back and just give it some extra, extra adhesive so it sticks down and center that onto the chalkboard. I'm sure you could also use the right greens, like chalkboard greens, 
to color the background with Copics and blend it out and then you could uh, heat emboss on that too. I'm using my embossing bag to try and make it look like there's chalk on the board because I didn't want to get out white ink and do that. So I'm hoping it just kind of looks a little chalky. I just use that instead of ink. And then here I'm just going to stamp the apple, the eraser, and a piece of chalk. And then color those in and cut them out so we can put them on the chalkboard. So for the chalk, I'm just going to use C1, and then I'm actually using 0 to just blend the C1 out. Since I want to give the chalk some color, uh, but it's technically supposed to be white. And then the apple is the same as before. I'm using R29 and R27, so they match. And then the same greens for the leaf. Maybe I can see the, the G that I'm using on the leaf. I'm not sure. It's either G82 or G20. I think it's G28. And then uh, the same browns from before. E37 and E35. And then E34 and E31. And then I am going to cut these out so you don't have to watch that part. And then I'm just using my glossy accents to glue these down so they look like they're sitting on the chalkboard edge, the lip. I was trying to figure out which direction I wanted the chalk facing because it does have a little circle end there. And then the apple. And then for the last part, I just spend some time with my white gel pen, adding some accents on the apples and everything else just to make it look, give it a little more interest. So once I'm done with that, that will be the card. Hopefully you got some inspiration and thank you to Yanea for inspiring me. Thanks for inspiring me. And, uh, if you have some teachers you need to make cards for, then hopefully this helps you, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.